It's something very exciting happened today. What happened? Very exciting for me. I got curly fries at Arby's and they taste good again. And it's been a while. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, it clicked in my head. Yeah. Chemo messes up your taste buds, something fierce. And the last, the last four rounds I had made like carbs taste bad, which sucks because I love carbs. But like French fries, bread, anything like that tasted moldy and gross. So I got some curly fries today and they tasted good. And it's very exciting because it has been months since I could enjoy curly fries. Well, it's, you, you're getting the shit out of your system. Yeah. So like, you know, a little simple pleasure if I'm getting back. It's very nice. And I know you, you, you don't, Arby's is not your favorite, but they got the curly fries. I don't give a yeah. fuck if they have the meats. They have the curly. I, I don't find curly, I don't find Arby's curly fries all that exciting. I'm just saying. Oh, they're so good. And Five Guys fries? The five Guys fries are good, but you know. And I know like they fry them in peanut oil. So not everybody can enjoy Five Guys fries, but they are delicious. You know what would make them even better? If we got paid to say these things. Yeah. Sorry. (laughs) This week is not quite as explodey as last week. Because, good Lord, last week was kind of... We still got, you know, horrible. Nobody this week doing a train spotting? No, thank God. That's good. We like that. Love of God. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go on the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible shit, bring back here for a little segment we like to call, what the fuck is wrong with me? Speaking of carbs, Popeyes. I'm crazy for I haven't been to Popeyes in forever, actually. It's probably good considering the story. I've never been to a Popeyes. You've never been to a Popeyes? Mm-mm. How is that even All possible? the ads make their stuff seem really spicy. Well, I mean, and it's... I can't just, like, you can't just... It's it's not, like, really spicy. It's, like, like... It's, like, American spicy. All right, you know? Yeah, I can't do American spicy either. You can't do American spicy? No. Wow. Because American spicy is just, like, maybe a... And a Popeyes... Ah, ah, shut up. Maybe like a spritz of paprika, and maybe a little 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 pepper. That's that's I American. Like spice. mild salsa level of spicy. <laughs> I'm very white. <laughs> well, uh, well, you're not going to have to worry about this sort of thing then, because um, everybody seems to be hustling these days. Everybody's got two jobs. Just sometimes you don't, you don't want to combine two jobs into one. A uh, Popeye's employee fired over being accused of selling drugs, shooting at person who came to buy while on the clock. Oh, dear. Yes. Uh, Harris County, Texas, an employee at a Northeast Harris County Popeye's restaurant was arrested after authorities said he was selling drugs while working and shot at someone during a drug exchange gone wrong. Um, authorities say the employee was actively selling drugs while only working at the restaurant. What was he selling? Marijuana. That's that, not drugs. That they're shooting at people over pot? Yeah. Really? Uh, employee I mean, was... It is Texas. They shoot at people over everything there. That's fair. Employee was working at the drive through or working the front cash system. An individual comes in the restaurant or a vehicle comes to the drive through with the smell of marijuana emitting from the person in the vehicle. He would pass them a phone number and let them know he is selling the marijuana himself to call if they needed some. So, wait, he based his uh, acquiring clientele entirely on. I mean, that's not the worst. <laughs> You know they enjoy it. Okay, but what if they're doing edibles, though? Then the car doesn't smell like pot. There you go. You're not going to know who to sell to. 
Oh, okay. Well, yeah, you're not going to get everybody that way. Right. But, you know. Uh, further investigation re reveals an unknown man went into the restaurant to purchase marijuana from Gonzalez. While two men were inside the restroom conducting the sale, the unknown man tried to steal Gonzalez's backpack, which contained the drugs. Fight escalated outside the restaurant where Gonzalez pulled a gun and shot at the unknown man at least seven times. Deputies recovered the backpack, contained the drugs, and a gun from a trash bin, and arrested Gonzalez. Here's the thing. Uh, one among many. Uh, he's 19 years old, too, so great job. We're the kids in America. Um, how did you think this was going to mesh? How did you think it was, th like, if you had to pull out your gun and deal with someone, that your manager at Popeyes was going to be like, you working your other job? Okay, make sure you're on your break. Are you clocked out? Okay. Clearly, he thought he worked at Los Pollos Hermanos. <laughs> and not Popeyes. I can't imagine anybody in that fucking show shooting anybody over a joint. Jesus Christ. Yeah. They got much more important shit to worry about. Reefer Madness remake is weird. Yes, Ronan, it is. Um, at least he wasn't it's using his pro great reboot of Reefer Madness uh, by Zack Snyder. <laughs> I'm a brawler. At least he wasn't using his product on the job. Are you kidding me? Almost certainly he was. Like, do you like I when, when people are doing I don't even get really upset when people get the order wrong at the drive thru. I just assume that they're fucking stoned to deal with working at the drive thru. You know? Fuck, go ahead. But also, like, if you know somebody who's, like, really, really, really into marijuana, you yeah. can assume they're at least a little bit high. Right. Almost all the time. I just don't understand how he, like, got mad enough to, to pull a gun on somebody, but... I, it is Texas. <laughs> it is Texas. They're shooting each other in kindergartens down there, I bet. Like, it's, yeah. it's Texas. Well, next up, have you ever been so ashamed of admitting something that you will admit to something else instead? Like, it's the classic dilemma of, of do you want to be known for the one thing or is it okay to be known for this other thing? Well, this, this fella was faced with that dilemma, and um, he decided to go big or go home, I guess is, is the way of looking at this. Um, Ohio man charged for reporting fake bear attack to get out of Kanawha County woods. Ohio, Ohio man is being charged for falsely reporting an incident after claiming he'd been attacked by a bear, alleging in order to get help getting out of the woods. Uh, according to a criminal complaint, first responders were called the early morning of Friday, September 22nd to assist a man in the woods. Dispatcher said the man claimed he was injured and stranded along steep terrain. Dispatcher said while on the phone, the man said, please help me. And he'd been attacked by a bear and also claimed he had been walking for days. His phone was dying. And the bears were circling him, and he was going to die. They're not sharks. That's sharks. Yeah. <laughs> they say they and uh, several search and rescue groups responded, attempting to locate uh, Leonhart using uh, mercy lights and sirens to both scare away any bears, point the man in their direction. Criminal complaint says while on the phone with dispatchers, Leonhart allegedly continued to say the bears were stalking him and that he began screaming. He also claimed to have a head injury was bleeding. According to the complaint, after a two-hour search, crews finally found Leonhardt. Once they were at his location, he denied, allegedly denied med medical treatment from fire and EMS crews, claiming he just wanted to ride out of the woods. First responders say Leonhardt was not bleeding, did not have any visual injuries. Deputies say Leonhardt allegedly told them he was extremely intoxicated and apologized for wasting their time, but he needed to get out of the woods. So your drunk ass 
got lost in the fucking woods. You quite literally the boy who cried bear. I, I, yeah. it's like, were, did you miss that day in kindergarten when they taught you this one? At least, like, you could say, like, I'm being chased by a bear. Because you don't have to produce evidence right. of that shit. Right, you say, I'm If being you're going to say, I have a head wound and I'm bleeding, they're going to expect some gore. Right, being chased by a bear, okay. Now the bears are circling. Uh, Which I don't uh, right. think they do. Now... The bear has given me a head wound. How? It's it just did. Like you, you're like you're inflating it way past the point it needs to be. Keep the shit simple. Also, the chances are, if you've gotten a head wound from a bear, you are dying. Yeah. Bears don't fuck around. They are tanks with claws and fur. So if they got close enough to give you a head wound. You're not on the phone anymore. No. You're not on the planet anymore. I, it's... Can he just stop at level one? Had he just... Yeah. Bear chasing me. Big bear chase me. Yeah. He just... They're still going to take that pretty serious. But he had to make his shit, like... He had to make this, like, epic. He had to be like, I faced a bear. Because I bet you know he was thinking, he's like, you know, when I get back to the bar... I'm going to just tell everybody I fought a bear. And I'm going to have all these cops here to back me up. And you know what the funny thing is? You could have just not told the cops that, but still told all your friends that. You could have still told all your friends you fought a bear. I get the idea that this guy probably tells his friends he fought a bear a lot. Probably. It's like, this time I'll have, I'll have authority figures... I'll have a statement on the record. I bet you he's really surprised he's under arrest. Where, that's illegal? It's it. Well, I can't lie anymore. I thought this is America. Just admit you got lost. Never. Uh, Tara, are you you're are you telling me a man <laughs> admitting? That he got law. This dude would rather invent bears than admit he got lost. To be honest, wouldn't most men? I mean, for me, I just listened to the, Well, we'll get to that later. There's more. Sh well, should we get to that now? You know what? That's a perfect segue into this one. Um, and this is another case of, wow, that's a, you can get arrested for that? Yes, you can. Uh, so we... Like I was saying, I will just listen to the talkie box when I don't know where the fuck I'm going. That's what the, the GPS thing is for. Except I also have things like eyes and ears and you know a whole plethora of senses to assist me in determining where to go. I don't just, all right, Google, if you say so. Like, for example, <sighs> driving into a fucking river. Tordash driver charged after following GPS into water in Middleton. Seen reminiscent of the classic gag from The Office. Doordash driver in Middleton followed their GPS into a swamp while delivering an order from Duncan on Friday. Panic driver called police shortly after noon, told officers they were following the GPS to an address on Mill Street drove down a dirt road, and then somehow ended up driving into a body of water. Somehow is doing a lot of work in that sentence. Yeah. The driver was able to exit the vehicle, walk to a nearby home on Kenny Road. Middleton police say fire officials ultimately found the car down a dirt path, uh, still running and partially submerged in the water, which is impressive. You got yeah. the car still running down there. Driver was taken to the hospital. Homeowner arrived at the scene a few moments later. Car was towed away. Car was towed away. Police said it did not appear any of the vehicle's fluids had leaked in the body of water. Driver was charged with negligent operation of a motor vehicle. Police also requested the RMV suspend the driver's license. I, you got it. You can't just sit there and go, "Are you sure?" Well, 
I because that looks like a river, but okay. I guess you must know what you're talking about. Also, like, you fucked with somebody's donkey's order in Boston. <laughs> you better pray they put you in prison. Really? Because you're safer there. I would expect the Tim Hortons to have more weight in Boston. Some Bostonian didn't get their donkeys. You are in danger. Really? Oh my god, yeah. Oh, Bostonians, they don't fuck around with their donkeys, man. It's a whole thing. I I would not expect that to be like uh, that big of a deal, but I just they, he, that, that, he better pray they put him in prison. Like I I once I've talked about this before. I once had a GPS try to turn me where there was no road. Try to go just take a right. There is no right. I've never had Google do it to me. Dan had Apple Maps try to drive him into the ocean. Mm. Mine was was Garmin back in kids. I'm I'm gonna scare you. There was there was a day. The GPS wasn't part of the phone. It was its own box, all by it itself. Thing you had to buy. It did one thing. It did it did the GPS. That was it. Like okay, it had a clock. That was, that was it. That had was a clock back in the time when your phone didn't have pictures on it. Mm. It, it folded in half. Back in my day, yeah. Netflix used to send you movies in the mail. I mean, you're, you're joking about that. That's the basis of the... To, to make it nostalgic, that's the basis of... They've updated Scott Pilgrim to where Ramona delivers Netflix DVDs. To How is that an update? To make it to kids seem to kids like it was much longer ago than it is now, because she used to work for Amazon. She used to oh. deliver books for so now. Now it's Netflix DVDs, but of course it's Netflix DVDs because you know they, they're not legally allowed to use. Them. They but, did that to try and make it retro. Yeah. Ouch. Because that was a whole ten years ago. That hurts right here. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. That that's 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 kids red. That that's nostalgia for 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 their their teenage years, is ten years ago. Me too. What? Me too. <laughs> as far as you know, yeah. When um, I was sixteen back, yeah, in twenty thirteen, absolutely. I, I, the picture is so sad. Look at that. Like, why? The, well, here's the other one I don't. Why did you leave it running? I know. Why would you not shut off the car? It's sitting there. You're just, you're sucking water into your air intake. Well, I, the, the, some people have no idea. They're like, what? They have no idea. They think there's like gnomes underneath the hood. Just running on a wheel. I mean, that's how my car runs. Yeah. If I don't feed the hamsters, <laughs> I can't go to work. <sighs> All right, then let's the, the one I was going to move on to, but you know, why not? Um, we have a lot of car shit this week. Well, technically car shit. Well, technically where cars should be, but. And you know what? This is probably the most we have. We've had on the show lots of these stupid low speed chases with um, lawnmowers and excavators and all that. This one actually seems to fit the locale of where it occurred. I mean, it's it's kind of perfect. Shirtless suspect leads L.A. police on bizarre slow-speed chase in golf cart with dog on lap. It's North Hollywood. You've got a little dog. That's, I think that's like a rule there. That if you're in North Hollywood, you have to have a little dog. It's like you get a signed one with your driver's license. Yeah, but you're supposed to carry them in a purse. You go to register to vote and they give you a little dog. It's like selective service. Here's your little dog. Oh, oh, 
oh, he's trying to run over the cops in a golf cart. Yep. Uh, suspect was taken into custody in North Hollywood Saturday night. The leading L.A. police officers on a slow-moving chase and reported stolen golf cart. Look at the dog. Uh, caller said the golf cart was stolen at knife point. The suspect, who was shirtless, shoeless, and was seen holding a dog in his lap, led officers on a chase that reached speeds of about 19 miles per hour. See, and here's always my question. Yeah. Why did you have a problem catching him? Because well, the I guess, car is still faster than that. I, I guess they're just kind of worried about... I don't know what they're worried about. Atlantis. These are LA cops. What the fuck are they worried about? Um, if he's trying to run your ass over with that thing, <laughs> which um, sounds about white because he didn't get shot, yeah. by the way. When he reached the area... Comments. When he reached the area of Oxnard Street and Laurel Canyon Boulevard, officers were able to box the suspect in after turning into a parking lot. The suspect hopped out of the golf cart and attempted to flee while carrying the dog. Police say he dropped the dog. Was ultimately taken into custody. No injuries were reported. It's, the dog. The dog. He's like you're making the dog an accomplice. The dog wants no part of this. I actually saw a guy. Believe it or not, I just experienced something related to this. Okay. I, I was I was driving down one of the main roads here in Denver two days ago, and there was a guy going down the sidewalk in an electric wheelchair. But he had he had his dog, and I don't know, I couldn't tell if it was a pet or like a service dog. Hmm. But the dog, clearly he had trained it to sit so that like the dog's hind legs and butt were like on the foot pad of the wheelchair. And then the dog was like in between the guy's knees and like leaning on his shoulder because <laughs> it was a big dog. So like he had trained this dog to sit so that they could just zoom down the street. And it was adorable. <laughs> Because the dog looked so happy, and the guy was like grinning, like he was. It was a gorgeous day. It was a nice day to be out for a little ride. And that's the thing about the dogs. The dog, in the sense, is probably just happy to be involved. You know, he's he's like, oh, we're going for a ride. He's probably very happy. Tongue was out. (laughs) This is he's he's just what's the noise? Yeah. Oh, friends. It's the beautiful thing about dogs. They're, 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 they're not hard to please. Yeah. I just, it's, it just, it seems like, really? No shirt, no shoes, dog. Yeah. And honestly, I got to tell you, like, you're probably going to injure those cops when you run them over with the golf cart. If you, if you succeed, you're not going to kill them. Just going to make them very mad. And that's gonna that's gonna make the whole like indictment thing. Yeah, they're gonna have some more stuff to read. I I don't. This is another one of those. What the fuck happened here? Why? Yeah. What was the thought process here? Where did your shoes go? Why did you have your dog with you? Why did you steal a golf cart at knife point? What was the plan? Where were you going? Why was Uber not an option? You know, you could have taken the bus. You could have just stayed home and given your dog a treat. Why? Why? What all? What all happened? Because now you're in jail. The, the series of events. It's, it just baffles me because in some way, this must have made sense in the moment to seem like, but I don't know how. It's like an altered state of being. I can't comprehend it. I don't know it. how you get to that point. It's I like mean, I, I have a couple of neighbors that have golf carts just for moving around the neighborhood. But they, as far as I know, they don't take them out on the main roads. Well, this one, the next one did go out on the main roads. And um, I had to check to make sure this was not a repeat. This, this happened again. This was last. Uh, Friday, Thursday, Friday. <sighs> Again, I want, there's been a thing going around on Twitter about the the uh, 
aphantasia have you seen it the, the one where the guy you can't visualize things like yeah like a lot of people if you say picture an apple you get the image of an apple in your head like like you're actually seeing it some people can't do that that's an altered state of being where you know that that i don't understand it but it makes sense mm -hmm. i don't understand this but it must have made sense i just don't know how to race down the road with your husband on the hood of the car oh i know how that makes sense <laughs> the Nita woman st louis county missouri is charged with felony assault after allegedly driving away from an argument and traveling several miles with her husband still on the hood of the car there's your explanation st louis county process prosecutors on friday charged 39 eight Run that again. St. Louis County prosecutors on Friday. Can I talk? St. Louis County prosecutors on Friday charged 38 year old Stephanie Boyd with first degree domestic assault and resisting arrest by fleeing. In a news release, prosecutors say a Berkeley police investigation showed on September 28th Boyd and her husband got into an argument at their home in Manita Park. She then allegedly got in the car to leave and drove off with her husband on the hood. Okay, so. Here's what happened. They're yelling, yelling, yelling. Motherfucker, motherfucker, motherfucker. I'm leaving. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Try and stop me. I will. No, you're not. Okay. You're not driving off with me on this car. Oh, yes, I am. Bet. Investigation show Boyd drove Page drove toward Page Avenue and on Interstate 170. When she traveled for 4.6 miles before exiting onto Airport Road during the Got drive. On the highway. Yeah, she passed through a construction oh, zone. He wanted him dead. During the drive, she passed through a construction zone and drove recklessly with her spouse on the hood. An officer saw the vehicle pass near the intersection and attempted a traffic stop. They say Boyd did not pull over for another half mile. I'm going to make him sweat a little bit. Just or don't eat anything this woman feeds you. Right? Because she wants you to die. Like, God, well, you know what? I'm pretty sure a little bit you brought this on yourself, too. Don't, don't hop on the hood. You could have let go at any time. Did you miss the part where she got on, on the, the highway? highway. You yeah. You know that there's a minimum speed on the highway. Get your motor running, get out on the highway. Jump car going 50 miles an hour. I'll wait. Yeah. It's yeah, he could have he could have stayed off the car. Exactly. If she says she's he gonna have not gotten on the car, yes. Right. It's like if she says she's gonna leave, it's like, okay. That's that is your right. You're an autonomous person. You all right. It's not, oh no, you're not leaving. Y yes, she is. You, I'm not I'm not I'm not sympathizing with this man i'm just saying even even if your boyfriend's a dick this isn't the answer right i think both of them were of the opinion like well she's got she's not going to drive away with me on the hood well he's not going to hold on to the hood while i drive away so this yeah. was this was a case of these two people locked the argument was continuing in a new and dangerous way this is like the world's worst game of chicken you're gonna back everybody's like you're gonna back down no you're gonna back down it's like i can't get it's like off an argument on twitter <laughs> like i can't get off this hood if i do she'll win yeah you all should just break up right if maybe if, it's not working out like if you get to this level that's 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 like there's some flags going on when it gets to vehicular manslaughter <laughs> maybe you just break up she drove with you on the hood down the highway bro i i do do you need help reading the signs yeah she like, might not be into you anymore just a tiny bit don't don't hop on don't man woman non-binary whatever if somebody's that mad don't test it 
Because people are dumb and they will do the thing. Yeah. Because you got, especially when you're arguing, you're all riled up. It's like, uh uh-uh, no, no, I'm going to, no, I win. (sighs) I have one more vehicular nonsense story this week, and I love this one. Um, One, because no one was hurt. And two, because we have video. And I'm not going to say this guy's my hero. But I am going to say, this guy was really entertaining. Um, where is it? Got to get the video here. Yep, here we go. Now, we don't have audio, sadly. But even if we did, we'd have to mute it because... Man smashes car into police station, then celebrates to welcome to the jungle playing on radio. (laughs) Tampa, Florida, New Jersey man was charged after deliberately crashing his car into a police station, Independence Township. Press release, the department said the suspect shot our creeps. First crashed his gold Toyota around 617 into private residence in an attempt to scare or harass the homeowner. Suspect then drove to the police station and drove his SUV through the building. Can I point something out? Go ahead. The first cop who confronts him, I I can't read lips, but he's pointing as though he's like, is this your car? <laughs> What the fuck do you think? Let's, let's, let's watch that again. Here we go. Get the bigger, bigger, bit, bigger picture. There we go. Kablam. But just watch that first cop. Woo! I lo- the, the the woo is what's getting me. I win. <laughs> <laughs> I love. He's still going with the I'm number one shit. He's still got the fingers up. Um, goal. Suspect drove to the police station and drove his SUV through the building, ending in the squad room. Our Greaves then got out of the car and appeared to celebrate to the song Welcome to the Jungle by Guns N' Roses, which was blasting from his car radio. Crashing into a home, Our Greaves was charged with burglary criminal mischief, possession of a weapon with an unlawful purpose, for crashing into a police station. This is what blows my mind. He was charged with terrorism. I mean, I know Axl Rose is a motherfucker, but really? Terrorism? Yeah. Because, really? It's causing widespread injury or damage. He's doing a lot of work there. Aggravated assault, burglary, criminal mischief, and possession of a weapon for an unlawful purpose. The cops were mad. Yeah. They like they threw they threw all of those. They, they, they're mad. Well, that, like when they come out, they look more annoyed than anything else. <laughs> it's like, which hey, is kind of hilarious. Hey. Right? They're like a fucking car just drove into your building. And you just come out like, can you keep it down? <laughs> How often does this happen? Sure. Well, it's Tampa. It's Florida. So it's probably happened. It's Florida. Day. Yeah, it's probably not, th- not their first rodeo, I'm sure. I just, I, I love this guy. He's just, he's like, woo. I'm just, number one. I just really want to know what the goal was. Well. What were you going for here? I wish I did because what the fuck? I'm really, I've been doing this for a long time and I'm so sick of these journalists not asking for a motive. Right? Ask the hard questions. Just, I don't know how I would do this job, do these jobs of these journalists and not be like, okay, thank you for all the vital information. Now, can you tell me why the fuck? Well, Tara, it's like a man once said. When you're high, you never want to come down. <laughs> yeah. So down. So yeah. down. <laughs> I 
<laughs> it's kind of, you know what? I'm not like this guy's a legend or something, but I'm like, you gotta respect the showmanship. I guess, yeah. If you're gonna, if you're gonna, if you're gonna crash into a police car, throw him the old rassle tassel. Might as well. Oh my god. Oh. I guess that's the first thing we learned. Do you know where you are? No, you're at a police station. <laughs> you're in Tampa, baby. <laughs> you're going to die. <laughs> so, oh, the first thing we learned to this week, journalists do better. Who, what, when, where, why? Like, I know you might, it's, it's kind of annoying and boring to be in local news these days. It's, you're not getting paid very much, but come on. You have the chance to be a superstar. You got to ask them those questions. Why'd you do it? Because no matter what they say, it'll be amazing. (laughs) Whatever this guy's, whatever reason this guy gave would be amazing. And you could write that down and people would love it. Oh, what else did we learn? Um, we've learned in an argument with your significant other. If they say they're going to leave, let them. Just, it's much better than getting locked into a life or death struggle over which of you will win the argument. We've learned that, you know, if you're going to commit a crime in North Hollywood, you have to have a small dog. It's it's important. We've learned the talkie box will kill you. We've told you this many times. Don't always listen to it. It's it's evil. It's it's Google. So Um, we've learned. If you want to fake being chased by a bear. You just say, I'm being chased by a bear. You don't have to go into like this theatrical production. And if you're going to at least have the decency to bash your head in on a rock. Yeah, I mean, you know, put in the work, put in the work. Finally, we've learned, um, you know what? I'm not going to lecture you about marijuana, but maybe. Keep your two jobs separate, especially if one of them involves shooting at people. I'm pretty sure there's something in the Popeye's handbook about that. Yeah. And if there isn't, there will be now. 